Welcome to the city of Krakow. This city was so important during the history of the Holocaust. This became the capital of German-occupied Poland. And it's also the site of all the places involved in Schindler's List. So if you come with me today, I'll take you around and I'll show you places such as Schindler's factory, the ghetto, and Plaszow concentration camp. Come on. We're appropriately going to begin our Schindler's List tour with his factory on Lipowa Street. But to keep the students in suspense, I didn't tell them which site we were going to visit first. Where are we going? Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Where, Mr. Are we where are we going? going? We're out here for like five hours. Where are we going? Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Where are we going? Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Come on, let's go. Where are we going? Where are we going? Just keep getting off the bus. Just go down that way. Keep getting off the bus. Uh, don't worry, I'll let you know in just 30 seconds. Just keep getting off the bus, just keep going that way, and I'll tell you where we're going. Where is it? Just keep going, don't worry, I'll tell you. Don't worry, just keep going, I'll tell you where. All right guys, we're on Lipowa Street. Now what is on Lipowa Street in Krakow, Poland? Here we are, Oscar Schindler's factory. It's gonna be a great trip. Come on, let's go. Oscar, sure. Mr. Butchko's class is here. Hello. Oh, hi, how you doing? You must be for Oscar Schindler. Huh? I do. Oh, okay, cool. It doesn't get any better than this, come on. Okay, so we made it through the front door. And this is the main lobby. This is the gift shop. Hey, Schindler was in there for the money, and they're just carrying on the tradition. What could I say, right? And these are, this is a sign for all the, the tickets and the tours of the museum here. This is we're at Oscar Schindler's factory. We're here at the film cafe where you can see pictures of the movies. Now before we enter, let me just remind you of one thing. This is a museum dedicated to the history of Krakow during World War II. Not specifically Oscar Schindler. However, we will see many Schindler exhibits. So come on. One thing that our guide pointed out to us, which the movie Schindler's List didn't convey, was just how close everything is to each other in Krakow. Right there in the middle section of the photo is the center of the city, and just above the center square was the ghetto area along with Schindler's factory, which was only a seven minute walk from each other. Up in the far end of the photo, you can see the stone quarry, which was a part of Plashoff concentration camp and where Spielberg filmed the camp scenes for the movie. The next part of the museum shows life in Krakow under Nazi occupation, to a very realistic degree. Wow, this is a really interesting place! Ah! Okay. As I mentioned before, the central part of the museum shows life in Krakow under Nazi occupation, where they explain the hardships of the Polish people and the slew of governments they lived under. As we pass through the exhibits, the museum has a series of stamp cards, with each representing a certain organization that existed within Krakow in World War II. What do you got there? It's a sticker from the Polish Army. From the Polish Army? Yeah. Pretty cool. What do you got there? It looks like a stamp from the Krakow Juden Rot. Pretty cool. Yeah. What do you got there, Mike? It's a stamp from the Underground Army. Ooh, pretty neat. 
What you got there, Pat? Well, here's a stamp, uh, January 18, 1945, starting the communism. Ooh, a Soviet stamp, huh? Yep. Pretty neat. What you have there? A uh, stamp, Nazi Germany. A Nazi German stamp, wow. Wow, this is really intense. Wow, really intense! You could say that again, sir. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's a picture of Hans Frank. Don't forget, he was the governor general of Nazi occupied Poland. He was a Nazi lawyer. After spending a few more moments looking at the exhibits, it was now time to see all the stuff related to Schindler and his Jews. About 1,000. And my question is, have you seen the movie Schindler's List? Twice. Okay, yeah, so you know the here. movie very well. That's good because now the next hour point is the place from the movie, okay? Maybe you can recognize this place. I won't tell you what happened there, so maybe you can recognize okay? You know what? You have seen this before. This was actually filmed for the movie Schiller's List. This is the staircase. If you look down there, that's where the young woman who was trying to get her parents at a class shop was trying to meet Schiller every day. And while she was there with the security guard, Liam Neeson was standing right on top of that stairs right there. So this is an actual place where they filmed the movie Schiller's List inside Oscar Schiller's factory. Alright guys, we are about to go into Oscar Schindler's actual office. The floor is totally original and it's gonna sound like it. Ready? Ready? Come on in. Doesn't sound so. Not bad. No. Oh, pretty, pretty a lot louder in the yeah. video. What's in here? Not that bad. No, it's not too bad. Compared to the other video. Yeah, I'm not sure. She's just from types of floor. So this is Schindler's actual office. The map in front of us is original from his time. The desk, they're not sure about. It might have been his. And as you can see here, there's pictures of the real Oscar Schindler and his family on his desk. And in the back there, there's part of his enamelware. And if we walk in here, you're gonna see all the names on Schindler's List. Whoa. Pretty cool, huh, sir? There's so many, how many are there, Mr. Butchko? Over 1,200, all the people he saved, right? Like, you recognize some last names, like Pfefferberg right there? This guy's And still of alive course, today. okay. This guy is still alive today. Yes. He's a photographer in the United Mr. States. Mr. Yeah, Drizon Horowitz. He's still alive. And you might see some familiar names. The museum also has an original typewriter on display which reminded us of an iconic scene from the movie, and we couldn't help reenacting the pose. Our next stop is to the exhibit on Plashoff. <laughs> In this moment, we are in the concentration camp, Washoe. 
And this camp was built here in Krakow, a former Jewish cemetery. Gravestones, you can see above, were used to be drawn. Oh, that's the road. That's the straw. Normal roads for cars and pedestrians. Kind of yeah. mm -hmm. kind of from where? I have no idea. From the from from Krakow, the Where exactly they were taken? If you want to take a souvenir, so. Okay, I have to say it. Yeah, I'm going to home. I don't. I can't afford to take that. <laughs> Now, in this exhibit, all about Plashov concentration camp, they have this as an exhibit. Now, this was a tool they used to use in the stone quarry. Four people were required to push this, but it weighed 5,000 pounds. It goes to show you, the definition of a concentration camp is you work until you die, and they wanted to make sure that some people died very quickly, sometimes only in a matter of days. 5,000 pounds, four people had to push this. And you can imagine, they worked in this for eight, 10 hours a day. So the life expectancy of someone who was pushing things like this at Plashoff was approximately just five days long. So what we're seeing here is a mock-up of what a single room in the Krakow ghetto used to look like. Wow. Oh, it's so small. Yes. Yeah, it's very small. Nine people lived in this one room. And if you notice, there's no toilet, and there's only one bed way over there. So where would they go to the bathroom? Up to 150 people in the Krakow ghetto would use the same bathroom. That's crazy. Oh my. Yes. And it gets even crazier. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. So these are the conditions the Jews were forced to live in and sleep in. Not exactly cozy, but it's better than being a plush off with them and get, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? I know you mean. Yeah. <laughs> you may be asking at this point, where is the factory floor? The interior scenes were filmed in another location outside Krakow because most of what had been the factory floor has since been demolished. But one piece of it remains to this day. All right, guys, we're here at a very special spot in Oscar Schindler's factory. Most of the factory floor itself was remodeled or destroyed after the war in 1945. But one little piece remains. If you look right over here, this is the only part of Oscar Schindler's actual factory that still exists today. And one other quick thing while we're here, if you look behind you, you're gonna notice this was another place where they filmed a scene from Schindler's List. When Schindler and Stern are coming down these stairs, Stern is talking about how he's very late for a birthday party and Stern is being basically punished because Schindler is talking about, did you see that guy with one arm, what's his use, and Schindler became afraid. This scene was filmed right here at this spot. So we had the rector, but you're running very late. This is for the Obersturmbaum Führer, so, and, and this is for his niece, Greta. It's her brother. By the Greta way, SMW. don't ever do that to me again. Go. Go, go, die. Well, that wraps up our tour. I hope you now have an understanding of what Schindler's factory is like today, and what it has to offer visitors. The only thing left for us to do is take our group picture, so... I'll see you on our next in-class field trip. Take care.